In this video, we will cover how to set up Mirror Network's free and open source netcode in combination with EdgeGap's hosting within your project to deploy and host an automated game server directly from Unity's editor, as to get your game online and playable worldwide in seconds. Let's get to it. Before using the plugin, there are three requirements to ensure everything works. First, make sure you use the latest Mirror plugin. It can be downloaded directly from the Unity Asset Store. A direct link is in the description. Once you've installed and imported Mirror from the store, access it by selecting Window from the top menu. Then select Package Manager. Then from the drop-down, select My Assets to find the Mirror plugin. For new users, we strongly recommend watching the amazing community tutorials to use Mirror to its full capabilities. Second, within Unity, head over to Unity's hub to confirm you have installed the Linux dedicated server build support module in your project. If not, simply click on the package and install it. The third and final prerequisite is to install and run Docker. It containerizes your game servers to help it deploy and run faster. If you haven't yet, you can go watch our Docker installation video or head over to docket.com and follow the installation procedure. It's easy and takes just a few minutes. Now let's get started. Load up your project. In our case, we are using the tank sample project from Mirror Networking that is already set up for dedicated game servers. To make sure it runs smoothly, select the Network Manager Game object in the scene of the Mirror plugin and in the Component Inspector, confirm that all three configurations, namely Don't Destroy on Load, Run in Background, and auto start server build are enabled. Additionally, if you have different scenes depending on whether the player is offline or online, you can drag and drop scenes from your assets to the appropriate scene management section. This ensures automatic transitions between online hosted servers to offline play. Finally, note the network address should be currently set to localhost. This will be swapped to the hosting address later after the EdgeGap game server is deployed. Similarly, the transport configuration port value is likely set to a default internal state, such as 7777, which will have to be updated too. The EdgeGap plugin should be included in the latest Mirror package. To use it, select the navigation bar's EdgeGap option, then select EdgeGap Hosting, which will open the plugin's window. To function, you will have to generate a token. To do so, you must create an EdgeGap account. Click on the Get a Token button, which will open up your browser. Signing up is free and takes just a few seconds. First, select Get Started at the bottom. Then from the login screen, input your email and a password and opt into our terms. You'll then instantly get a verification email. Click on Confirm your email to validate your account. Finally, input your organization's name and continue. This is EdgeGap Applications Dashboard. We strongly recommend exploring it with the tour, but we'll skip it for this video. Automatically, a pop-up with your unique one-click token appears. Simply copy it by clicking on the clipboard icon and paste it directly in the plugin's text box. Then select Verify, which confirms the token is valid. The Application Info tab now opens automatically. Should you already have an application on our platform, input its name in the text box and load it as an existing app. If not, which is the case in this tutorial, simply enter your project's name. It must be in lowercase with no spaces. The Create Application button is now enabled. Select it. This opens the Container Registry and the Deployment tabs. Container Registry is where your game server's container is stored. All you need to do is make sure the port and protocol types are accurate to your netcode transports as to ensure the server adequately listens for connection. This information can be found in the Network Manager's Inspector tab. Here is Mirror Network's sample project port, found under Transport Configuration. As for the protocol type, it is accurate in this case, as this particular sample project by Mirror uses UDP. If you are unsure, refer to your netcode's documentation to confirm which transport it uses, or select the appropriate option based on your unique choice. New version tag refers to the unique version of your server. This field requires your manual input. We recommend changing the value whenever you proceed with updates to your game server. For advanced users, EdgeGap provides the option Use a Custom Container Registry. For this tutorial, we will use the EdgeGap's default one. The second to last step is to select Build and Push. This automatically compiles the project into a dedicated Linux server, then create a Docker container which is deployed to EdgeGap's registry. The last step is to create a new deployment. Under Status, you will see its progress. Once ready, a URL appears. Copy it by clicking the clipboard icon, then paste the information within the Network Manager's Inspector tab. 
Under Network Information, replace the current network address by pasting the URL. Make sure to remove the value of the port, which must be inputted in the port field under the Transport Configuration section. Unselect the Auto Start Server Build option, as this allows you to connect as a client directly from Unity's editor. Finally, start your game scene by clicking the play button atop the editor. Congrats! Your game is now online for the world to play. Evidently, test things first. In our case, using Mirror's sample project, we confirm the client's address is correct and can launch a session by selecting Client. Once you are done testing, return to the EdgeGap plugin to automatically stop the server instance by selecting Stop Server. That is all for the Mirror plugin on Unity using EdgeGap game server and hosting. The likely next step in your game development will be to connect players. For more information on EdgeGap's free, simple and fully automated matchmaker, you can check out our tutorial. Thanks for watching.